Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Right now, this wheel is spinning at five miles per hour. Of course, it's not going very far, but it's being measured by that little piece of equipment. Can you go faster? Oh, there we go. That's faster than I've ever gone on a real bike. Looks like about the size of a thumb drive there. Running by way of Bluetooth, it is the Velo Computer from Sound of Motion. And it's the one degree precision bicycle wheel sensor. Now, why is that important? Why is one degree important, Vladimir? Well, one degree may be on its own is not important, but what you can actually do from that information, that's what's important. In one of them, you can calculate accurately acceleration. From that, you can know your torque and power in watts. And that's what actually professional cyclists need to know. They train by the power, and now a sensor can deliver it for very low cost. As I said, we try to keep uh, the cost of the sensor under $100 tail. So this isn't actually shipping yet, but you're working on it? Yes, we plan to release it in uh, this summer. Something so tiny. Just, there it is, right in the middle, right through the spokes. A lot of information. And then when you're done with the ride, it looks like you can also export the data to uh, Google Maps. Yeah, you can post it to our server and then it's going to be published to Google Maps and to Twitter so everybody who follows you will know instantly how fast you ride. Yeah. And they can compete with you right away. As long as I ride downhill, I'll, I'll do very well. But I haven't been on a bike since I was a kid. So what makes this different from a lot of other sensors that are on the market? I mean, besides it being connected by way of Bluetooth to a mobile device that can run Java. Yep. Uh, well, it's point. obviously the first Bluetooth sensor, but besides the, the high precision, that's what actually features that. One degree precision, nobody else can do it. Are most of them a little higher than that then? Well, actually, full rotation, which is 360 degrees. That's why we say we are at least 360 times more accurate than any any of our competitors. And you're trying to reach the underneath $100 price point. That's right. Well, it's, it's good. I mean, I know a lot of cyclists here in Seattle who ride for the health, and of course it's green. I mean, in the sense that you're not taking a car. Uh, I know quite a few people that that's, that's a drop in the bucket compared to what they're saving. That's right. And everybody probably carries their mobile phone with them. So right. they can actually connect it right to their phone and track everything, what, what they're riding and where they're riding and upload it to Twitter and Google Maps. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want anybody on Twitter to know how much I don't ride. See, it doesn't, it doesn't actually record anything other than time when you're not doing anything. That's the big deal. And, and possibly iPhone support at some point in the future. Possibly. Yes, as soon as iPhone uh, releases their Bluetooth uh, API, so we'll, uh, we'll certainly support iPhone. But at the moment, it's uh, still very closed environment. Apple has very tight control of it. So we hope it's going to be uh, improved. Will it run on Android devices then? Yeah, we actually support uh, Android, BlackBerry devices, and most of the Java phones. Okay. Like Nokia, Sony Ericsson, um, LG, Samsung. Pretty much most of the devices which run Java can actually do this. Well, the next time I get on a bike, I'll definitely have to remember because I've got to record it if it happens, if and when it happens. Certainly. I'll burn calories and make sure that it's recorded for posterity. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you, Tukis.